No, thank you. That's good. Thank you so much. I mean, you know. Well, you didn't even tell me we were rolling. I... <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Six String Stanger. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to check out a guitar called... Hang on a minute. I, I, I got... I, 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 I... Volgoa. 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 Vo Volvo. Ga Vo Volvo. We're checking out a Volvo. Okay. They even make those cars anymore. Anyway, it's right here. Uh, inside this box. Uh, was not double boxed. Kind of a heavy thing here. It says on the box here it's like 9.3 pounds. We got our little weighing machine. We'll see what that weighs. Yeah. <laughs> because right here it is. So, anyway. Um... This is kind of like a PRS type of style guitar. Uh, this will run you, uh, what was the price of that again, you jerks? <laughs> you set me up every time, you never tell me anything. Ha! <laughs> 159! Okay, 159, that's what this will run you on Amazon, okay? Now, uh, let's just go ahead and open this up. This is the Purple Burst. Um, so yeah, if I can get that opening music, please, for unboxing. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go. I'm scared, okay? It's not a big thing, but it's kind of important, okay? First thing I notice that with uh, it, it's kind of fun, honestly, doing different guitars on the channel, uh, just because you know they they do different things, which quite honestly, uh, this is different, okay? I have had other companies uh, deliver before, which hey, you know, I'll give them credit, whatever. <sighs> It says Fragile right there on the box. <laughs> but the reason that is, it's just a guitar in the box. There, there's no there's no styrofoam in there. The only the only thing you have is these things here to support the neck. That is crazy to me. Okay, very crazy. Hopefully everything's okay. Uh, we will find out here very shortly. Uh, man, as I will be fair with you. Uh, I read a couple reviews and I seen some pictures on Amazon. Uh, they said they received it, and their headstock was broke off, different things like that. But you know, that's kind of the stuff you get into when you take a chance and you're like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna order, I'm gonna order a guitar online and uh, take my chances, right?" Yeah. I'm a gambler. <laughs> here we go. Let's just look at this headstock here real quick. I can see it through the plastic or. What is this, uh, foam wrapping, I guess? Okay, well, hey, hey, good news. Headstock is all intact. So that's a good thing so far, okay? Got your basic tuners on the back here. Yeah, it's Vogoa. I think it's the name of the way you spell or say that. I, I don't know. Of course, that's the way you spell it. I mean, they're not just going to come out and be like, hey, let's just put some random letters on a headstock. No, it's Vogoa. Ooh, this, this neck is thick. Kind of a thick neck. If you're into thick necks, this is probably for you. All right. So, you know the thing. You know what we got to do. We got to build the hype up, okay? <laughs> God. Okay, here we go. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get started. Yes. Ah, yes. Right. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, that's neat. Never seen a never seen a uh, sugar pack there on the, uh, in the, uh, fret area before. Usually it's in the bag somewhere. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead. Ready? Okay, all right. I'm liking this so far here. I'm looking pretty good. Let's just see what the overall look is. The unfortunate thing is you guys will have the first look, and I won't. You know, maybe I should just look at it first. Now I can't. I won't. Okay, ready? Three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
Ah. Okay. What do you think? First thought is this, okay? I'm not I'm not upset with this, okay? I mean, I think that looks beautiful. It's very nice. Okay? I, I even like the wood type binding around the edges. Very nice looking. Okay? Put your belly cut over here. The one thing I will say, in the picture, you see how glossy that is? In the picture. Okay, I don't know, because these have been out for a little while. I don't know if they've came out before and they didn't put the gloss on it. But it, it's like a flat finish or a satin finish. Uh, there's no gloss in the picture. I mean, that's okay. I, I wasn't expecting the gloss, okay? That's fine. It does look very nice looking over it uh, all the way. And I mean, you know, you can see like, <laughs> you can see like the little knot there in the wood, you know? Oh, hey, who put the microphone above me? God damn it. I mean, come on, man. It's 159 bucks. I, I don't want to ruin it, right? But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. Yeah, this is just, uh, I mean, it's obviously a set neck. That's fine. The Are there frets on here? <laughs> I mean, damn. I don't even know if they're all the way to the edge, to be honest. They are barely to the edge. If I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, I'm getting wrapped up in cords. Anyway, the the frets are very, very well done as far as they're the ball in type frets. Um, yeah. It says it's a maple fretboard even. I don't think it's maple fretboard. I would probably go rosewood. Okay, that'd be my guess. It does say maple neck, maple fretboard. Uh, doubtful on the, doubtful on that. Uh, you know, I, I just, you know, maple, and then you know that. But I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's maple fretboard. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Got a maple veneer top. Okay, it's very nice, very exquisite looking. Um, you know, we'll uh, test out these pickups, see what they are. Looks like it's probably just a plastic type nut on there. Not too bad. Um, the neck is thick. I mean, it feels thick. Perfectly in tune from the company, as should be. I mean, you know. Okay, first thing, let's go ahead and measure it. Or measure it. Measure. Well, I guess it is a measure. We're weighing it. <laughs> okay, so right now we are currently at zero pounds. Okay. I will pick a tuner, and we will hang it from the tuner and do it as thus. Make sure it doesn't fall off of there, and here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so the box said 9.3. That's probably with the, you know, with the air inside. Because <laughs> I'm getting a 6.85. Pretty light, honestly. Um, you know, I, I was pretty surprised. I am pretty surprised at that. That's three-way toggle, of course. That's a tone knob which the knobs are very smooth, feel very nice. Just your regular type tunematic bridge there. Um, so let's uh, let's test out the pickups, see what we got there. Upstairs guy, you here? Ah! All right, is it up there? Yes, okay, good. God, it's not that hard, guys. Now, I'm gonna try to knock this out of frame. <laughs> okay, I wanna make sure we, we aren't even on ohms, okay? Make sure we're on ohms there. Make sure it's nice and in the uh, picture for you guys. Okay. All right. So we are on the bridge pickup. Okay. And let's just see what we got for the bridge pickup. Volume up is up all the way. Okay. Interesting. Pumping out at 1111. Not too bad, I guess. Let's see uh, what happens when we split them. We go to the middle. Middle. Yeah, I mean... 5.45, not too bad. And let's go right to the neck pickup. The neck is pushing 10.45. So, that's not horrible, I guess. I mean, a lot of people like higher output input, inputs. What the hell's an input? <laughs> Anybody look that up, what an input is? 
Okay, this is 25 and a half inch scale here. Let's see what the neck looks like. Ah, it's just a little bit of relief, slightly in the middle around here. You can just make out a little bit of daylight, which that's, that's kind of normal, I guess. It's not that bad. Every, everywhere else is touching really well. That's good. All right. Tell you what. Give me a minute. Let's get this hooked up. And uh, we'll give it a listen to. <laughs> to. Give it a listen to. All right. All right, guys. I got uh, everything tuned up. And I got my headphones on so I can hear what you're hearing. Um, really a nice guitar. The one thing I will tell you, uh, maybe... I don't know, it's probably the strings. Um, you know, sadly, there's no colored balls in here. And uh, yes, I said balls. <laughs> Talked about this before, okay? Yeah, I like colored balls, okay? I don't know. They mean something to me, you know? Uh, it might be Didario, uh, or Didario, how are you saying it? Didario, I don't know. Or... There's other strings, uh, a couple other string brands, I think, that have colored balls. Uh, now, these are just silver-type balls. <sighs> God. All right, guys, I got her all tuned up. I got my headphones on so I can... <coughs> <coughs> got my headphones on so I can hear what you're hearing. Uh, so, without the risk of dying again, let's try this, okay? Uh... Anyway, not too bad. As far as string buzz, I didn't adjust anything. I may adjust this sooner than later. <laughs> but uh, it's very slight string buzz on the low E. But I don't know if you can see the action. The action's really, really good and close to the neck. Um... It's not bad. I would probably raise it slightly for myself, but that's a personal preference thing. Uh, some people like string buzz. I, I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. Whereas I like to hit harmonics a lot, and that's one of the key things. Don't have your strings too close to the neck, huh? Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get right into the sound here. Um, got the bridge pickup ready to go, and uh, let's see what we sound like. Ready? Set? Oh, yeah. Uh, got it runs from a Black Star ID 260. Okay, just a preset. No frills at all except for reverb. Let me check on that. Huh? Yeah, just reverb. That's it. Okay, here we go. I forgot to do guys fingeries let's continue shall we Let's take these off. Ow, ow. Really sounds good. Uh, pretty surprising. Now, I did take the pickup and raise it slightly. Um, just because it was down really far away from the string. Uh, I raised it maybe, I don't know, if I, if I say two turns, it's probably a turn and a half. I don't know. Uh, that's, again, a personal preference. Some people like, you know, a little bit. Uh, non-attack sounds, but with this type of pickup, being it's around 11k, which is not really super fiery hot, but I think it sounds good. When, when you have a lower ohmed uh, type of pickup, it allows your amp to do a lot of the work. And that's my belief. I, I, I might be wrong, <laughs> but you know, it just allows your amp to work harder. You can get the tones you want that way, as opposed to an all-out fire-breathing uh, pickup that, you know, 
it's already there, and then, you know, you kind of got to dial your amp back a little bit to kind of compensate for that, but... <laughs> I think it sounds great. So, with that being said, let's do a ditty! Let's do a ditty. A ditty. Not a titty, a ditty! I said a ditty! guys man that was that sounds great very articulate uh they're kind of i mean they're not super clarity but they do they sound decent but they're a slight bit muddy i mean Kind of a weird thing to try to say. It doesn't sound bad, but if this was going to be something that you were going to jam with, um, I mean, I would maybe switch out the pickups. Maybe in a, uh, a JB or something, or... You know, anymore, you can get these pickups, like, super dirt cheap, like, 25, 30 bucks. Like, even a musically-type pickup that would sound pretty damn good, probably. All right, pickup test. Pickup test time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Ready? Here is the bridge pickup. That spit. Did I just spit? Because I'm telling you, if I did, I'm gonna... Ready? Middle, middle. And the neck. Middle, or bridge. Neck. Okay, let's turn that tone all the way back with the neck. Almost too much. <laughs> Bridge. All right, it's doing a corporation here. I'll go up with the neck, uh, with the neck pickup, and then I'll switch to the bridge. Ready? Neck. Middle. And bridge. articulate but they're dark you know what I mean that's 
for the tuners. Uh, they're not bad. <laughs> See where we're at. And I mean, you know, you got the three con three and three configuration, but the strings are pretty well straight. You know how like on and Les Paul, they kind of go angled on each side. Um, these aren't that bad. Pretty straight on, so I think that helps. <laughs> Alright guys, that will do it for this video. This is the Volvo, <laughs> Volgoa guitar. Uh, very glossy as we know. Um, hey man, you know, maybe swapping out the strings might be a good idea if you get this. Uh, I will probably swap these out for Diodario. 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 That might take care of some of the issues here with the pickup sound. I don't know, you know. Uh, these might not be your best type of strings to have on here. Ah. All right, guys, if you like this guitar, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, pretty cool. They have a couple other colors, or at least they did uh, when I ordered this. Uh, anyway, so yeah, if you want to check one out, feel more than free. If not, I really don't care because I'm not getting paid for nothing. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this at all. <laughs> all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers, man. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. You're here to support me. I'm here to... Help you to watch me, to support me, to, uh, you know, you watch and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Wow, I am sorry. Later. Oh, hey, wait, don't forget, it's all about the music, blah, 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 yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Later, love you, bye.